Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today, another video about Caden Live, the open source cross platform video editor, beloved by many, sometimes buggy, recently, like getting less buggy, constantly advancing, which is what's important is that the project is not static, it's moving forward uh, regularly. Um, and one of the recent additions in the recent releases of Caden Live has been the ability to format subtitles, which is very useful. Now, for some reason, I've done a lot of videos about subtitles on this YouTube channel recently. I covered one that I think is more important than others regarding the pros and cons of hard subtitling. In other words, of adding your subtitles in to the actual video file versus uploading subtitles if you're distributing video through YouTube as SRT files so that people can turn on and turn off the captions. As I explained, there are pros and cons of both approaches. Really the biggest con of the uh, hard code subtitles is they're at the moment mostly not machine readable. So you've got an SEO advantage for using embedded subtitles. Obviously you can turn them on and off embedded subtitles so if people don't need the subtitles. They don't need to have them clutter up the screen. And uh, there's there's more as well that I think basically for most people, it's a better practice not to use uh, hard-coded subtitles. If you can use embedded subtitles, you can also easily allow people to translate the subtitles automatically. And that's going to become, as I predicted in that video, more and more of a thing as YouTube continues to increase language support for its automatic subtitle translation. Now, what I wanted to show in today's video is how you can use this new feature in Caden Live subtitling to kind of approximate the subtitles that you may be used to seeing on YouTube. So what I did is I loaded up a random documentary on YouTube uh, that has subtitles and I'm going to just turn them on now by clicking the subtitle icon. Now this is what most people are familiar with when it comes to subtitles on YouTube. So let's just have a look at the at what they're doing with those subtitles. So it's white subtitles it's a sans serif font of some type and it's on a black background with no uh, opacity as far as I can see, at least on my one, it's uh, totally black. So you've got that um, good optical contrast, which actually makes them pretty easy to read. Now, what some folks may not have realized is that you can actually change how the subtitles appear on YouTube by clicking into the uh, settings cogwheel, then go into the subtitles uh, menu. And then you've got a little button here for options. And this will actually allow us to see exactly how the subtitles in YouTube are configured. And then to get YouTube-like subtitles in Caden Live, well, we pretty much just need to do a copying operation. So the font we're using here is proportional sans serif, font color is white, font size is 100, background color is black. I was wrong about the opacity, it's actually 75% and uh, it's laid out on the bottom. Those are the main uh, credentials, if you will, of those subtitles. So what I'm gonna do now is drag over Caden Live and this is just a random video of me cooking Malakia. I don't actually know exactly what I said in at the second, so I'm just gonna add like a junk subtitle and then we're going to take the bulgur out of the instant pot, okay? And now I've already done a little bit of uh, playing around with the subtitle options. Now, subtitles have been in Caden Live for a while, so these, if you're using Caden Live for subtitling, this probably isn't new to you. Where the new feature is located is this little button. Um, it's, it's called show style options, that's the hover text. Uh, it's just to the right of the of the update subtitle text button. So if I click into that, we're going to get our options now. And we can have a look at the way these subtitles are appearing uh, here. To me, they're, they, they, they can use a bit of improvement here. So for uh, custom font, I'm not sure proportional sans serif is the name of a font, but whatever, you can scroll through your fonts. Um, it doesn't look like it might be a descriptor, but let's just go for something like this. Padana and now for custom font size you can just bring it up to a point that looks big enough and as you can see the subtitle is appearing here now for opaque background we're going to have a black uh, background and we can also do a custom font color as well as a custom outline and a custom shadow so you can see there's no shadow currently and I can add a bit of shadow onto the text that again it's easier to uh, to make sense of 
Now we also have a uh, custom position, so we can do bottom center. For example, if you want your subtitles to be at the top, we could do top center, and now you can see our subtitles up there. Personally, that looks a bit weird. Um, so in terms of the kind of granularity of the options here, um, I would say we are still lacking some, for instance, being able to control the uh, percentage of opacity as you can in YouTube would have been a very useful option. Um, as well as that, uh, changing the background, the color of the background, you can either toggle on or off the opaque background. So again, you know, these are little things. Most, most people are going to want a black background and you're not going to want to put, uh, you know, orange background to your subtitles, but maybe those additional styling features will be available in future, uh, updates to Caden Live. So anyway, for the moment, this is definitely an improvement. I think the main uh, subtitle edits most people would want to make in terms of options is adding that black background, playing around with the subtitle size until you've got something that makes sense for your video, and playing around with the font until you've got something you're happy with and that's very nice and readable. And I think if, you know, it would probably pretty rare that, that people are going to want to have subtitles anywhere other than the uh, bottom of the screen. But if you did want to run your subtitles along the top, you could uh, do that using these new features on Caden. Hope that video was useful. If you do want to get more videos from me, do feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching.